Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are here in Dusseldorf, Germany at the world's largest RV show. And today, we are taking a look, the manufacturer Euromobile, and we're taking a look at the European version of an Integra motorhome. I-N-T-E-G-R-A. I'm super excited. And the show is winding down, so we don't have one of the manufacturer reps to show us. So it's just gonna be you, me, and Andrea looking around the European RVs. We're super excited to show you everything that Euromobile has to offer. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, we're in Dusseldorf, Germany, and the show's winding down, but we are still very pumped up to show you some awesome RVs. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hey everyone! Our feet are hurting. Our feet are hurting and we are tired, but you know what? We are still super excited. Yes. So I'm seeing some crazy stuff, you guys. Uh, hold on to your seats. Yes, and Andrea, unfortunately, show's winding down, people are wheeling and dealing. And once we get to more of what I'm noticing is once we get more to the real price point stuff, it's not so much the manufacturers, it's more salespeople. And we don't want to take up any salespeople's time, you know? So uh, let's begin. We're going to take a look at Integra. So first Integra, guys. Yes. So first and foremost, check these out. These are on Fiat chassis. They're little class A motorhomes. Reminds me of a Vegas. Yes, I love it. It's like a longer Vegas which is very nice. We have the nice cream color with the gold bus style lights right there. Look at these tires, Andrea, they're the Michelins. I love those. 225-75R16. And these are called the Agile Camping Tires. Very cool. Yes, ma'am. So um, there's people here and here, so let's come on down. Look at this. Yes. Wow, crazy Take storage. a look at that one. And we're gonna pop in each, each one of these. Guys, look how there's a door on the driver's side. Yes, Incredible. Yes, this is what we want to show everybody. It's a class A motorhome, but the door opens like that. It is very, very cool. There you go with the Fiat. Yes. Now, again, um, what you guys have been seeing, check out all the compartments. What you guys have been seeing is kind of like the super luxury, super premium stuff. This, if, if you live here in Europe, cassette toilet. If you live here in Europe, this is what real people are buying. Not that the other people aren't real people, but this is more uh, realistic. Yeah, the other ones, the they're, majority. they're making ten a year. Right. This, this, these are being mass produced. Very nice. nice. And, and as you see, if you do a quick 360, maybe that's why we couldn't find anybody because the whole display is over there. But they have Bs, B pluses, and As. Yes. Let's take a look at this one. Backed up camera. Loving nice the storage, yeah. So this is the Integra 70, 760 QF 163. Very nice. All right. Let me just get a quick look at the specs here. All right, coming in here. See, look, I we got a little this. trash can. I, I like the door this. has blinds. Check it out. They did something here that I always talk about. So yes. Look at that. Wow, look at this. This is so cool. I could do, Matt, I could so do this. What are you doing? I am sitting here pretending <laughs> that I'm driving this. And you know what? This does remind me of a Vegas or it's a totally, Texas, but yep. I will tell you the dashboard is lower. And uh, maybe, maybe the window's not as big but it's it, very nice it does feel very cozy and comfortable yes very euro and then the bunk over the cab does drop down which is very nice here's something that i love andrea double sofas well it's a dinette but again there are two seating areas i love that and then you have the table right there pedestal table how do you like these blinds oh those these curtains balances yes approved bing oh that's the first one of the day and look at that. It looks like it comes up and then you've still got a screen here. Yes. You want to open that window and privacy shades. I love that. Speakers. Wow. Very cool. Very nice Euro style Push. cabinetry. Yes. Andrea, even though. This is cool. Even though so far this is the cheapest thing we've seen. 
very still very very yes impressive. i just it's just so cool here i mean little kitchen though yes i mean very little little motor home yeah i mean this must be the sink i'm okay. just gonna move this i just want to check this out oh wow but yes yeah, see how that pops out yes very nice more of a bee. and it probably have a two burner gas cooktop okay three there wow. you go very nice see they gave you a little hood range or whatever push this in all right okay very cool and you know what this andrea glass. You know, we, we don't have a manufacturer's rep to help us, but I feel like we don't need one. You know why? Oh, because- This is still very basic. Yes, it's basic enough to understand. I love that. Razor. Oh wait, Matt, look, this is where the TV would go. Okay, okay. But again, you know, very, very nice. Okay, little pantry. You gotta, oh, I guess this would be your um little oven there. Okay, interesting shower. Yes. It's like a wet bath kind of type here. Interesting bed. I just pushed back and then the bed tilted up. Like that. Okay. Oh. Look at that. Nice shower. Oh, look at this door. Interesting. So this is more like ours at home where you don't have a separation. So you would have to use that door yes. to block that off. Very dark though in there. There's, I don't know if the light's on. It, the light is not on, but Andrea, you do have a nice sink. This is not a prime poop musician. Womp, 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 womp. Actually, this is very much like the Vegas. I mean, same price point and everything. Uh, and, and we're able to show you the different styles between Europe and America, which it's very, very nice. And then check out the bedroom. Yes, and I do see that it does have a pocket door here. Because okay. it does slide, as you can see around the top. And it has two. Okay, so oh, all right. not bad. Okay, so check this out, Matt. Not too shabby. It looks like there's a step up here, which we have a lot in ours, USB. Yes. We've got a little place to hang stuff there, a little wardrobe. Yes, ma'am. But more importantly, you have storage above the bed. Okay. In the middle as well. Yes. Looks like we have some reading lights under there on that side as well. Very nice. Oh, what's this? Okay, more storage. Yes. Oh, wait, this must be the medicine cabinet or something. Okay. Very nice. And I like how there's two windows. You know what kind of vibe I'm getting in here? An, an Airstream vibe. An Integra vibe? No. no, Airstream. Yeah, it is very much like an Airstream. It is. But it's just interesting. And I guess you could mount your TV there. Yes. I already did that for you. Yes. And I'm really liking this, that they put lights here. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Yes, ma'am. Andrea, let's go check out some of the other motorhomes from this company. But first, the reason why we're here is because of RVMatches.com. Let's give a big shout out to them. Matt's RV Reviews European Edition is proudly sponsored by Brooklyn Bedding, which is RVMatches.com. RVMatches.com made this once in a lifetime trip come true. They are 100% the reason why we're able to bring you Matt's RV Reviews European Series. Join us after the review as we bring you to the town of Lecoq and have lunch at one of the oldest bars in the entire world. And if you guys need a new mattress for your RV, search no further than RVMatches.com. Here's the three mattresses that I recommend. The first being the Dream Foam Hybrid, which is universal comfort with cooling on contact. Next is the Signature Hybrid, which is their best seller. It is patented superior sleep at a factory direct price. Or my personal favorite, which is the Brooklyn Aurora Lux. Best in class cooling technology in a premium luxury hybrid. Best part about it, it is free shipping. You get a 120 night sleep trial guaranteed and they are 100% made in the USA. All you have to do is take it out of the box, lay it out, and watch it expand. Make sure you check out my video on all the different types of mattresses. I will link that video at the end of this video and in the description below. Great, click our link down below and use promo code MATT for 20% off. And again, thank you so much to rvmattress.com backslash MATT. Let's continue the video. Okay, Andrea, and as you can see, again, this is, this is more mass produced production line coaches you have the integra line okay the vans and then the active one so now let's find one of these which there is one right here there's people inside so we might not go in it but love the colors love the gold and the white 
Let's see what's going on out here. Okay, up here's where your propane tanks go. Storage there. Probably cassette. My favorite cassette toilet. <laughs> More storage. And then Andrea, Europe is doing this yes. and they are embracing it. And I actually really love it because most Europeans are taking their bicycles with them. And so everybody's doing this. Even storage in there. I mean, they're utilizing every inch of space. They really are. This is the Contura five star. See, there's a backup camera right there. Again, power awnings, the nice Euro Tooly. windows. Take a look at the inside. And then we'll take a look at the class B. Okay. Okay. Kind of like the other one we were in, but this is uh, on the uh, Mercedes chassis. Yes, very much like our motorhomes. Nice 10 inch screen, lane assist, adaptive cruise control. Believe it or not, I actually like this table and chair setup better. It's a little stiffer, and um, this motorhome looks just like um, a Winnebago 24V. How does it feel? It, it, it definitely feels a little bit like it, but I will say one thing that's different is yeah. this big sunroof here. No, I like everything that they're doing I do right too. Here. It just gives it so much light yep. and it just makes it feel open. And just like America Integros, that nice big windshield right there. Yes, I see it has the manual. Yes. Though. But let's open this. Oh wow, very nice. Okay, looks like we have the same type of mallet. Yes, let's see. Very nice. Like the, uh, daytime okay or privacy shade and then there's a screen here very nice very cool and then the same thing on your side matt yes ma'am let's see oh good storage and this does double as a bed i don't know it does it drops oh, down okay. and makes a bed yeah all right the kitchen is the same as the other the sink is here and that faucet will pull out with three burner gas cooktop and then storage here and i didn't open this on the other one because oh Okay, very oh, easy. Oh, very nice. And then over here, you got some more storage. This looks like a little pantry. I love those. I love how we're seeing those in all of them. Right. Very nice. Looks like this is all your lights. Yes. Okay. And then here we've got the freezer and the refrigerator. Dometic. Yep. Just like the other one, you can get it open from either side. Dometic, guys. We know that. And this is like your little oh, oven. Oh, little toaster oven there. Yeah. Very cute. And then, yeah, same thing here, split split bath. And then here's the shower. But this this is really cool, Matt, look. Yes. Look how the doors do this. And, you know, it is very small, I have to say. Yep. They gave you like this teak thing, but right, like right here, because of this, it makes it a lot smaller. Well, but at the same time, Andre, when you compare this to Mercedes, oh, yeah, the true. fact that you're getting a shower like that. Because the wet uh, baths over our, in our country are very small. Yes plastic wah, wah. also not a prime poop position but again very spacious Storage bathroom right here. yeah we got to compare it to what it is you know and i love this that this opens too and has a blind across yes and then let me climb up here oh so this gives you the option of having two separate beds yes again just like the winnebago 24v we have storage all the way around the filler cushion if you do want to make this one big bed which is very nice um, I'm loving this, Andrea. I, like I really am there. loving this. Oh, wait, and there's a little thing here. Oh, that's like a little storage there mm. to the garage. It opens up. And Matt, I think this is a wardrobe. Very, oh, very nice. very nice. I love it. Utilizing all the space. Yes. Well, that is this one, which is kind of like the B+. Plus. Let's take a look at the Class B. Okay, Andrea, so to wrap up the Euro Mobile is the multi-jet, which sits on the Fiat chassis, which is very cool. Look how just sleek it looks. I love the headlight design. It looks mean and aggressive. Very nice going on here. I believe Fiat's going to be the equivalent to like the Ram Pro It Master. looks like that. Yep. That's what I was thinking. Yep. Right here we have more awesome tires, Continentals, very nice. You know, Class B's really are Euro style because um, this looks just like a Winnebago Travato on the inside. This nice, is the fan B. Awning. Look, I mean, this is only $82,000, which is phenomenal for a Class B motorhome. Wow. And then coming around the back. 
That one was only 133. We have this awesome storage. And down here. Yes. I love how they do that. Yes. See, that's what we that's what I'm talking about. Yep, yep. You yep. know, like utilizing all the storage that you can. I don't know if that opens. Yeah, it must, but it must be a tank or something. I bet you it's No? Yeah. Pro oh, for propane yeah. tanks. Yeah, but that's good. I mean yes. it's you know, and I, I like how even they have a little uh privacy and daytime in here as well. Yes. Let's check it out. Tooling awning. Okay. Again, oh, there's little drawers on the outside. Very Winnebago inspired or other way around. The Fiat chassis. I even feel like I'm sitting on a Ram Pro Master. Yes. Yes. I mean, you sit high up. Yes. Um, Look at this. I love Very that. Nice. I, class B's. You know, everybody, they, they use this for storage, but like sometimes it's just irrelevant storage. Right. You know, right here we have some storage, which is very nice. Okay. Wow. And then above us, we these seem to be very popular over yes. here, these sunroofs. Yes. And then Matt, hold on to this. All right, ma'am. Let me sit here. How do you feel? I like it. See, Look at the table. This is a really cool table, right? Yep. You can make it small. It's smart. Yeah. But it's also, you do this for the bigger people. Exactly. Everybody has to have their glassware. All right. In the kitchen here, we have one of those sinks. Okay. Um, this is strange, though, I think. Yes. Right? Yes. And then above here, we have storage. Yes. And then a three burner you don't need to show cooktop. That. Yep. And then a drawer here. You know, Andre, Utensils. we're going to be mixing these videos all in together. Yes. But um, this is our first look oh. at more production style. Right. And they, they do a great job. They do. And I would love to get the light on here, but I don't know where it is. Okay. Uh, it's very dark, but Matt, if you want to head in there and I'll yes. hold the camera. No, no, there's no need to. Just to hold the door open. Very small bathroom, but still great design. And then to wrap it all There's up, and sorry guys, we can't read. We literally can't read. Hold on, Matt. To find all the light switches. Oh my gosh, yes. is that your wardrobe? It must be. All right, so here we have the separate beds, but you can make it all one. I love it. Cabinetry all around. Now this is the first unit we've seen head cabinetry right. like America. Yeah, not a lot um, of those. Yeah, most of the time they're using it for storage, but with this class, or they don't care about the extra storage. Where this one, it seems like they do care about it, which is nice. And then, you know, you have these, which, which makes again, it more comfortable. you know, you see those in America. I don't know who came. It's like, what, what came first, chicken or the egg? I don't know, but they're all <laughs> awesome. Um, but again, you know, for a Class B motorhome, they do it very well, very well designed. And um, I mean, it's great that you can see the Euro style, you know, like we call it Euro style, but you've never seen it. And so it's great how we're able to see it on the show. Interesting. What's this? That's oh, sink, sink topper. Yes, watch your step. Wait, oh, there's something here. Hold on. Oh, and it's countertop extender as well. Yeah, but look at this. It's like for sponges, I don't know. Yes. What's this for? Oh, okay, wine or whatever. Yeah. put it in there? And then there was two drawers on the outside. Okay, soft close. Very nice. nice. Well, Andrea, that's Euromobile, who's a whole manufacturer. Um, we're going to link them down below. And guys, thank you so much for checking it out. If you guys like European RV tours like this, make sure you join us again next weekend. We're coming live to you every weekend. And the reason why it's best to watch it live is because we get to chat with you guys and answer questions and just have a great time. Andrea, anything you want to say? Yes. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Yep. And uh, yeah, just every weekend we'll have a new video of these European RVs. So make sure you tune in. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Final message, Andrea. We want everybody to comment down yes, below. Yes, please because comment. Because the more people who comment, the more Euro changes we're going to see. Also, yes. make sure you guys stick around and watch our little European adventure, which is up next. Thanks so much. Hello, Jen. Hello. Where are we headed now? Le Coq. L-A-C-O-C-K. Which... Means little stream. Means little stream. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the oldest towns in the world. And we're going to one of the oldest pubs in the world. 
Yes. Which was 1361? Well, I thought they said that this wasn't actually that old of a pub. It's just an old building. The old pub hasn't been there for that long. Probably the right. building. Right. But yeah. Look how cute the buildings are. You can tell I feel like I'm in the Shia. See, this, she said we're on the edge of the Cotswolds, which is where. What's a cotton? What? It's just an area. It's called Cotswolds. It's um, just very old villages in England. And I was actually going to try to go there like the day that you guys flew out if we had extra time. Oh. But we're on the edge of it now, and I'm like. It's like this is good enough, maybe. It's right. <laughs> right. You get the point. Yeah. Look how old. Got the vibe. That's crazy. Everything looks like it's like the shrieking shack. Right. <laughs> I can't wait till Will stands up in the place. I know. Well, look, everybody has the small cars. Here's that. All the roofs have moss on them. Mm. I guess they don't have home inspectors here. <laughs> they were saying um, there's some, not these roofs, but some that we were passing on the drive have, what do they call it, thatched? Terracottas. No, not terracottas. Oh. No, it was like thatched or something. I forget what she said, but they last like 40 or 50 years. Why do I say terracotta? Like, I do not know. What, that's what in like California. <laughs> Oh. That's, that's like the, the I'm sorry. clay. <laughs> no, but these like it's a special material and they last for like 50 years or so. Nice. Which is a long life for a roof. Look, there's a Fiat truck. But there are RVers. Oh, did you tell people that there was RVers at Stonehenge? Yeah, like, I, did, I didn't. I didn't. I guess they were camping there. Yes. I mean, they were or parked, parked there. there. I mean, I would definitely go off there if you could. All right, people are like fighting, like running up. Right, Will, this Will. Well, up. there he is. Get a well look. He's he's going like it's Black Friday, getting his fish and chips. Okay. It's funny because like there's like groups of two running, and it's like, bro, you're you're a group of two. You got It'll it. It'll be fine. Right, but Will. It's just communal eating. Will understands that we have seven. <gasps> All right, let's. Yeah. Oh, look, the chocolate bar. Go Sunday. Yeah. And, uh. Not really. Dad, you did it. Yeah. Me? Yeah. Oh. I, was, I came in and, and they were like, okay, how many in each group? And I was like, I'm so going to move. That's nice. Let me see that shirt, Dad. No. It's too small. <laughs> oh. Wow, this is good. If you guys saw Mass RV Reviews Europe last week, you saw that it was freezing cold at Stonehenge. Yeah. So everybody got Stonehenge shirts. Yes, yeah, so it was breezy. But not only is it an extra large, it's a European extra large. So not only did I bring my Heinz ketchup from America, I also got my lemonade. Me like grandma. Oops. Cheerio. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. There we go. Anybody want to go inside, yeah? <laughs> Anybody Did we get Jones? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, what did you get? Steak pie. Steak pie. Mm -hmm. Steak and ale pie. It looks really good. I just want to get a picture. Okay, let me know how it is. We asked her if it was like shepherd's pie, and it's it's not the same as shepherd's or cottage pie. Right. It's like, like a no true Well, and also it has like a top pie crust. Right. It looks so it's like a tree. Break it open, Dad. No. What? So no, we thought everybody gets their food. Such a gentleman. What was that, Jen? Just break it for the vlog. Break it for the vlog. There you go. Take your forearm. I like that. 
like this. Oh, yeah. Us girls do it all the time. Yeah. yeah. We do it with everything. It's we should be a little bit better now. We should feel better. Hold on, I gotta break this. See, look, look, I can already, you already stretched it out. Yeah. Easy breezy. Easy breezy. Come on, go. Oh, there's scales. Is there scales on the fish? The skin is on the fish. Bella likes the skin. She'll be fine. That's fresh. But not me, I freak out. Tell her one more, Matt. One more over here. Thank you. Can you hear me some napkins, please? Thank you. Hers looks better. Is there no other than the fish? Jen, you said that on camera. I know. I don't like scales on my fish. <laughs> the fish is better just without the scales. I'm enjoying the chips part of it. But hey, fish and chips are not just Is there spots on that beef? I don't think so. Is there, is there a cow hair on that? <laughs> is there hide on that beef? Hide, yeah. What do you think, little one? <laughs> little one. What do you think? Me? Yes. I think it's good, but not the best. It wasn't eating it. It wasn't like eating it in the bus. The bus was better. This is medieval. Yep. Honestly, like people always tell you, like, food isn't that good. Like, I'm not gonna candy coat this really hot. <laughs> the art of being a picky eater, you break the fish and you cover up the peas. So it looks like you ate it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look so like you ate it. Disrespect. I don't, I really don't want to be disrespectful, but I also don't want to eat a fish with scales. <laughs> I don't want to just talk <laughs> Well, they're selling something down there. Do you guys want to explore? Yes. I forgot my diet, Dr. Kim. Diet, Dr. Kim. There's a, there's a Dalmatian. What you get? I got hot chocolate, and then I got this dark chocolate that's raspberry marble. Oh, do you like dark chocolate? Yes. Oh, okay. It's dark hot chocolate. chocolate. Yeah, normally not good. Usually people with more refined palates like dark chocolate. Yeah, <laughs> me, I bring ketchup to London. <laughs> What'd you get, Andrea? A lot of chocolate. Good. <laughs> we got alcohol and like, chocolate. <laughs> I spent like $70 in there on chocolate. Nice. So I got a alcohol infused chocolate because you know, when in London or when in England. And oh, we got these milk crunch truffles, yay! I'm so oh. excited to try these. Look at you guys, so dark chocolate honeycomb. Mm. Oh, that's So cute. Who? Me. Oh. It's so cute. Lovely little house. Well, well, how was lunch? It was good. Mine was good. Yes. How well, was yours? Will's was the best lunch. But that's it, guys. That's the review. But that's it, guys. Make sure you join us again next week for another episode of Matt's RV Reviews Europe Edition.